so I am with Miss Landry. Uh, this is my uh, first art teacher, um, really that took me serious. We are at CC's Coffee House. Coffee House. Um, and we are uh, just speaking about my experiences. Um, whenever I very, you know, the very first time I started painting, um, how did we meet? Well, we met uh, in Art One. I think it was in 2004, correct? You were my uh, art student. They had transferred you from Diane Melvin's class. Great. And um, it was a big class. It was actually my first year teaching. My first year of teaching. And I could see that you had a lot of skill, a lot of talent. And I just wanted to see if we could push that out of you further, if you gave me a chance. Because I know you were really upset about leaving <laughs> Diane Melvin. That was class. I forgot about that. You're That's, right. I remember. You're right. Um, but you were, I could just see you had that in your eyes, that you were a prodigy. You were a child prodigy because you were very, very talented. And that's how we met. So... When we first started, I started I started drawing, correct? Yes, it was drawing, all drawing. And then the second year I had you, we went to painting, pushing you to do painting. So I would I would literally um, come to class, and every day you would tell me, I want you to paint. And I would say, I don't want to paint. Yes. <laughs> and you would say the next day, for weeks, I want you to paint. And I would say, I don't want to paint. And I don't remember the exact day that I started painting, but I remember it was acrylic, and it was on the boards. It wasn't on canvas. It was canvas on, boards. It was canvas yes. boards. Yes. And um, I started getting your W magazines, your woman magazines. Yes. yes. And I started bringing them home and painting. Um, what? As far as let's go back with drawing. As far as drawing, what? Um, what made you want me to start painting from drawing? Well, I mean, we always have to move from drawing to painting. And you had such a, a very good skill in color pencil, Prismacolor. So you had a good eye for color. So we, I wanted to see you take that skill because you could see all the values uh, in color pencil into painting. So just by, because color pencil is a form of painting. So I knew if you could handle that, you could handle painting. But you didn't want to handle painting. You didn't want to paint. <laughs> I did not want to paint. <laughs> you did not want to paint, but um, I remember, I think it was your first painting. You love doing faces. You always like to do faces. So it was very skilled in faces. Um, I had you blend. That. We had to do pats, X's, and swirls. And swirls was your technique. And you could, you could move that brush in swirls so smooth, I still haven't seen anybody paint so smooth. You make it look like airbrushing. So your paint, you, you wouldn't see the, actually you don't see the brush strokes the way you paint. It's just very smooth, like airbrushing. Interesting. Yeah, so it's like airbrushing. How long have you been teaching art? It's going to be 20 years. Wow, congratulations. Yeah. Flowers, if I had flowers, I would give you real flowers right now. That's amazing. It's going to be 20 years at Lafayette High. Yes. How is, what's different now with arts class opposed to... Well, I mean, then, as opposed to now. Well, back then, I just had Art 1 and Art 2. Now I have all all of them. I have Art 1, 2, 3, 4, and sometimes an Art 5, so special arts. So I see and do a lot of different levels. So a lot of painting, different mediums. Do a lot of your kids take art series? I have more females than males that take art serious. Interesting. You were probably the one of the first males that took art serious in my classes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, anything else, like specifically, that you remember about us being in class? I know I used to get um, distracted by the females. Yes. I did. Anything, <laughs> anything else um, in your class that? Well, you were a typical teenager, you know, you'd like to cut up and, as I would say, get back on task, get back on task. Thanks. 
but um, yeah, you like to catch up and talk a little bit with the other kids, but you, you were never a discipline issue. You were always a very respectable, passionate artist, and you carried a sketchbook religiously with you. And I think one time you had uh, forgotten it and you uh, went crazy saying, where is my sketchbook? And I said, I have it for you. And we found a sketchbook. But no, you carried a sketchbook religiously. So, I mean, I always knew that you were going to go places I and am, do well. Thank you. Thank you. Um, giving you your flowers, I have been painting since your class. When I started painting, I didn't know that God was using you to help me with like trauma because painting is very therapeutic. Um, so my mom was going through a lot. We were going through a lot. So I would go home, paint all night. Come to class, school, draw, paint all day. Yeah. Uh, I think my teachers was jealous that I would paint and draw in the class more than yeah. I would focus I, think I used class. to tell you that you can finish your project, but don't get in trouble in the other class. Right. I can do it, Miss Landry. I can do it. Yeah. Um, but I didn't it, uh, realize you had some issues, you know, personal issues. You had a lot of, uh, like, tension or um, kind of standoffish at first when I first met you. And I tried to, you know, I wanted to cut through that glue that coldness to show you that I, I was there for you yes, ma'am. and didn't want to you know, hurt you in any way wanted yes. to inspire you yes. try to inspire you more oh you did you for uh, sure did I was, I'm, I'm still painting I'm when I left so. from Lafayette High I went to Barb and then someone else carried the mantle <laughs> Did exactly what you're saying. Stop talking to class. Focus on <laughs> art. Focus. This is, you know, your yeah. passion. Another art teacher came along and had that same heart. You know, I want to see you go far with all art. Whatever art that's, that you have that God has given you a heart, just continue pushing it. And um, we're here today. So just for record, I was riding today. Heard a small voice. Go see Miss Landry at Lafayette High School. I call, um, so I'm doing things decent in order. I've grown up doing things decent in order. And uh, they say, oh, you can't come on campus because it's a new protocol. I said, okay. It's like, so email her. So I emailed you. Hey, I didn't know that. And I didn't think I was going to be able to find your email. I said, I'm going to get an email. Look it up, find your email. Yes. And you emailed me back. Because I was looking at your arts, I swear to God, I was, you were on my mind for the past two weeks. There's something there. Um, like I said, I wanted to inspire some of my students and show them that one of my former students, how far he is and how talented he is. And it was just so weird how you contacted me. It's, it has to be a higher power. It's divine and I guess that, that put us together. So one day I'd like you to come talk to my students. I'm definitely you coming. And when, I, and when I come, I want you to make sure that I bring you art prints. Okay. Awesome. I'm going to bring you some yes. art prints. Um, and I want to say this closing out. The last time we saw each other, randomly, we was at a ballpark. My son's uh, Little League Baseball game. Correct. Yes. Correct. I remember oh. that. And now he's at college studying engineering. Really? He's a junior. That's good. Yeah. That's good. But yes, I remember that. Yeah. Can give me a big hug. Sure did. Was excited. Thank yes. you so much for every... I Just the seed that you planted. This this is this is it's gone viral. It's went Africa, China. I mean, just art, I mean, the states, other places. The art is moving, and I mean, just it, it as a whole. So I would, I feel like I would be doing you a disservice to not at least try and contact you to let you know. Like, I what's really going. appreciate that, Definitely. and I'm glad that I. I, I, that you telling me that that I inspired you that really makes my job worthwhile because a lot of times it's like what if, you know why am I here <laughs> sometimes and I hope to touch students you know sometimes and purpose that I've learned is like you never know what seed you're planting and you may plant the seed for the next 
Picasso. You may plant the seed for the next Serena Williams if it's in sports or um, for the next uh, Robert Downey Jr. You know, um, depending on what um, what you're teaching. So just, you know, the fact that, I don't know, I'm honored. I'm honored that I had you to start me off. Wow. And it's so funny because you did say one thing. You said it was so much friction because I did not want to leave my previous <laughs> class. But had I not been obedient, focused, started to realize you take me serious, I wouldn't be here. I would have ended up another whatever statistic anything so i just thank you so much and i'm in closing everybody this is miss juanita landry and she is an amazing art teacher um and i can't wait to see what's in store next love y'all